Hi, it's Dwyer. Gamblersadvisory.com for premium picks. DwyerSportsBetting.com. Also look for us on Roku. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Today is August the 2nd, 2013. Let's talk about American football. For gamblers, should you be a buyer or a seller with the Dallas Cowboys? In my opinion, you should be a seller. This team has all kinds of problems. For the fantasy football people, it does have two jewels, two players you need to think about picking by the end of the second round in your fantasy football draft, right? The first is Des Bryant. You'd be surprised. Des Bryant last year had just a shade under 1,400 receiving yards. More importantly, Des Bryant caught 12 touchdowns. That puts him in elite status among wide receivers for fantasy football purposes. Also, with regard to Tony Romo, just understand that Tony Romo last year threw for more than 4,500 yards. Take a look at the numbers. While he's not Drew Brees, Tony Romo is not that far off. He's someone you need to consider. If your fantasy football league values yardage, then you need to consider tight end Jason Witten. Just understand, though, that Jason Witten is not a touchdown maker. Now, let's talk about gamblers looking for an edge on the casino. The over-under on the Cowboys in terms of wins and losses for 2013, according to Las Vegas casinos, is 8.5 wins, right? I'm a skeptic. Change is one of the worst things that can happen in the National Football League from a coaching perspective, right? Understand that the Cowboys are radically changing their defense, right? They have hired cover two guru Monty Kiffin to retool the defense. So they're running a different scheme now. Players are going to be changing position. And just understand that I don't believe the Cowboys have the safeties to fully pull off a cover two defense. Let me also point out, too, that Monty Kiffin had been with his son Lane Kiffin at USC. Understand that the league has adjusted somewhat to cover two defenses because now you have many more spread offenses. What worked a decade ago in Tampa Bay might not necessarily work in the NFL today. So my point is simply this. In a league where continuity, familiarity among teammates and among your offensive and defensive approaches helps. The Dallas Cowboys in the NFC East are literally retooling their defense this year. That's going to lead to blown coverages. That's going to lead to uncertainty. That's a big factor that you need to consider. Also, the Dallas Cowboy offensive line, to put it mildly, is shaky, right? Understand that it's been hit with a slew of injuries. The latest is Nate Livings, right? Understand that Doug Free, quite frankly, has been a disappointment. Understand that last year running behind that line, DeMarco Murray only averaged 4.1 yards a carry. Understand that the Dallas Cowboys center is likely to be a rookie this year. So to me, that's a problem. Also understand that Jason Garrett, despite being given a vote of confidence by Jerry Jones, got his role in the offensive play calling reduced because of as you can imagine, front office concerns. So now former Raider head coach Bill Callahan is going to have an increased role 
and calling the offensive plays. In my opinion, that's a criticism of Jason Garrett, right? That you're bringing in another former head coach to call a greater percentage of the offensive plays, right? So to me, the Cowboys don't have the kind of continuity, don't have the certainty on defense, particularly in the defensive backfield with the safeties, and don't have the offensive line, quite frankly, to be a buy, right? Let me also point out, too, that they've already announced that Tony Romo is not going to play in the preseason Hall of Fame game. Tony Romo has told reporters he's ready to play. I believe that that's a damning indictment on what the Cowboys know is going on with their offensive line, right? The offensive line is unsettled. The Cowboys can't risk getting Tony Romo hurt, right? Let me also point out that, you know, they're playing a Miami Dolphin team that can bring some heat. So, given that the Washington Redskins made the playoffs last year in the Cowboy division. Given that the New York Giants are a talented bunch with better continuity on defense, better continuity, right, just in terms of their approach and what's going on. Given the stiff competition that the Dallas Cowboys will be facing in their division, I believe they are a sell. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. I'm guessing it's going to take Monty Kiffin more than a season to stiffen that Dallas Cowboy defense. And I'm guessing it's going to take the Cowboy offensive line, in particular, the rookie that they drafted who's going to be playing center sometime to get acclimated to each other and to play well. Also, Nate Livings, understand that's a knee injury, right? The Cowboys, as I make this video, have asked him to undergo an MRI on that knee. A sore knee is the kind of thing that can linger for weeks, right? If Nate Livings is missing preseason games, his teammates are missing having an opportunity to learn how to play with him. That change on the offensive line is something you need to look at. Let me hear from you. Thanks for stopping by.